today we're going to be making a homemade spectroscope. The materials you're going to need for making this include an empty paper towel roll or toilet paper roll. We're going to have a craft knife or scissors if you have them. If you have safety scissors, that would be great. We're going to have a blank CV, an old CV. If you have one lying around the house or an extra, you can always ask an adult or a parent. Then we're also going to need a pencil or a pen. And then we'll need a piece of cardboard or cardstock works too. I have cardstock here, which is really hard paper. Then we're going to need tape. Small school tape is just works just great. That'll be fine. You don't need a big giant roll like this, but this is what I had. So this is what I'll be using. And want to decorate your spectroscope with paint or stickers or gems, markers, crayons, whatever you want to do. You can go ahead and paint this, decorate it, and then you can get to making it. So we'll start with step one, which will be to let your toilet paper roll dry. If you painted it or colored it, we're going to let that sit and we're going to let it dry. Make sure that when we touch it, it won't get everywhere and mess up our beautiful design that we made. I made a smiley face and it's already dry. I just made it with my pen. So it was nice, quick and easy. I gave him little arms. Super cute. Um, then step two, we're going to use a, our craft knife or our scissors. And we are going to first get an adult to help us do this. If there's an adult near you, um, let's just make sure that they can come and help you and supervise you and make sure that you're being safe here when you use these tools. And then we're going to cut a thin slit like so with our scissors or craft knife at a 45 degree angle towards the bottom of the cardboard tube. So this one's going to be my bottom. His hands are going up and that's what will remind me that the top is up here and the bottom is down here because when we raise our arms, they go up. So over here, 45 degree slit going downwards. So you can see it's coming down this way, not going up this way. That's going to be where our CD goes. After we've cut that angle into our cardboard we are going to directly across from that angle. We're going to take our safety scissors or our knife and we're going to cut a little hole in the side. You can start with just a small hole and then you can even take your pencil or a marker or a soft pen if you have one. And we're just going to poke it into that little hole here and we can, can even just wiggle it around and make a nice circle there. That way no pieces of cardboard are going into our eye because this is actually going to be our eye hole where our peephole is going to see, where we're going to see the colors. So one way that you can tell and make sure that you did it right is you can hold this up to the up to your eye. And when you look through, if you can see through the angle and you can see light or where, whatever is across from you in the room, then you know that your peephole is straight across. And if it's not, you could just make another hole. It's no big deal if there's more than one hole. You can just put your finger over it when you look through. So... Now for step four, we're going to take our toilet paper roll, which we're now going to start which we're now going to start calling it our spectroscope. Our spectroscope, we're going to take on our piece of cardboard or our cardstock, which I have cardstock here again, and we're going to take our pencil and make a circle around the bottom. And we're going to want to go around a few times. Make sure that our line is really bold and we can really see it. That way we don't have to guess when we're cutting out our circle because our circle is going to go on top of our spectroscope and it's really important to have. So as we go and we make our circle, I'm just going to do two more times. Okay, awesome. I can see my circle here and that's where we're going to cut out. So for our next step, which is step five, we're going to take this circle and we're going to fold it in half a little bit here. So I'm just going to take this piece and fold it. Now you don't need to make this crease super hard there. Let's get a good hold on my paper. And then we're going to cut a little square out of the center here. So make sure you're at the center. Just make two slits with your safety scissors. Once again, if there's an adult around who can help you, that would be awesome. Once we have this square made, we're going to pull this little flap back when our scissors are down and we're making sure we're being safe. We're going to take this little flap and just cut it right off. Watch where your fingers are and pay attention to where you're cutting, okay? Boom. And then we're going to have a square. It doesn't have to be a perfect square, just as long as it's big enough that light's going to get through. Because this is going to go on top of our spectroscope. So for our next step, we're going to cut out the circle that we traced with our spectroscope where we made the little hole in the center. 
And then we're going to cut it out with our scissors. Once again, if an adult is around to help, that would be awesome. So we're going to cut that circle out. And then we're going to put it on top of our spectroscope. So for the next step, grab your tape. Take some pieces off. They can be little pieces or big pieces. And then we're going to start putting them around our circle that we put on top of the spectroscope. So I took the circle out from here. And I put it on top here. And I put some pieces of tape around. Make sure it's nice and secure on there. You can use little pieces and push them down on the sides or you can use a long piece and wrap it around you should use more than one piece though that way it's nice and tight on there and it won't fall off or blow in the wind when we take it outside if we can all right now that that's taped on i'm going to poke my finger on it make sure it doesn't fall just little little taps light taps so i'm going to make sure this is on top once you tape it on hold your spectroscope up straight up which is where my little guy's fingers are going up and make sure it's on top because if it's on bottom it's not going to work very well and we're going to need to redo it so make sure that you have your top facing up your bottom down here people will cross from your 45 degree angle and then we're ready for our next step all right for our seventh step the next one after we taped on our top to our spectroscope so we're going to take our cd with the shiny side going up so this is my shiny side going up, not where the cover is, where there's words and letters, but where the side is that you see a lot of colors. If I wiggle this here, you can probably see them through the camera. So we're going to take our shiny, shiny side up. Here's the top of my spectroscope, and I know that's the top because of the hands again, and that's where I put my piece of cardboard or cardstock. I'm going to put my CD in my 45 degree angle, and it should hold itself nicely in there. And if your CD falls out and you need to, maybe you made your slit too big, you can do another one or you can just hold it with your hand when you go to look at the light. So now that our CD is inserted into our 45 degree slit, we can use our homemade spectroscope and take a look at some light. So what we're looking for with our spectroscope is diffraction. And when light is diffracted, uh, the colors that are reflecting from the light are being separated so when we have a rainbow outside and there's water and the clouds and we see all these colors together diffracting is when the colors become separate so a cd is a mirrored surface with spiral tracks or pits these tracks are evenly spaced and they diffract the light <laughs> so they separate the colors because the cd surface is mirrored the light is reflected to our eye so when we put this in, shiny side up, wedge it in there. Just be careful because some CDs can be really sharp. So once again, if there's an adult around you, have them help you put it in. Make sure it's nice and secure in there and it's not going to roll around or cut your fingers or anything. So we're going to take our spectroscope and we're going to put the peephole to our eye. And we're going to have this center top here where we cut the hole up. And then when we look through a peephole, the light's going to come down here through our tube and get diffracted from the CD mirrors. Now, if you want to take this outside and look up at the light, you can, but we don't want to face it directly towards the sun because the sun is really, really strong light. And when that light comes through here and it bounces off the CD, it can really hurt your eye. So we're going to take it outside, face it up, but not directly towards the sun. You can even stand on a porch where there's a roof over you or under a tree where there's still a little bit of light coming. So I'm going to take my spectroscope up to my eye here. And then I'm going to look through my peephole and I'm going to face my top hole. I have a light in my house that's really soft light. It's not very bright. And I'm going to kind of aim my top hole here towards the light. And when I do that, I see all these colors and there's little shapes at the bottom of my CD and I can wiggle it around. I see some blue, I see orange and red. This is so cool. So I'm seeing the light come through and be diffracted off the mirrors for my CD. And it's really, really awesome. It's so colorful and super cool. And I can, if, if you can't see them, you can wiggle your CD around and your angle might need to be adjusted. So maybe there's not enough space here or you need more space or less space. You can practice and make more than one of these and see how things go. 
So there's our final spectroscope there. And we've made our own. And you can use this in your free time and go see how many different pieces of light you can have diffracted if you're in your house. I wonder if there would be more light if you were outside, if you would see more colors. Or maybe you're by a different lamp that's a little bit less light. Or maybe you're by Christmas lights or a Christmas tree. Or if you're by candles during Hanukkah, you could have um, some candlelight go through here and see what you could see. So a lot of different times you can see a lot of different things. So. All right. Well, thank you for making that with us. And I hope you all had fun. And once again, these are the only materials that you will need to make this project. It's really easy, really simple, super fun. And it can be really safe as long as you have an adult around with you.